the video you've all been waiting for you how to be a movie star with no experience so i'm going to share with you today how i did it how i went from zero to about 30 movies in three years never acted in my life before all of a sudden one day i woke up and thought you know what what be a movie star by the time you're watching this in about 2029 i will be a movie star when you're an actor you are essentially a business you are a brand so you've got to focus on building your brand have you heard of jurassic valley guess who was in it me. So in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way I think you can go in getting into the movies and literally just jumpstarting your acting career. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you a bonus that I think is an unorthodox strategy, but nevertheless, a great and probably the best possible strategy to get you to where you want to go to in the acting industry. Hey, it's Steve Staley here and I'm here to show you how to become your best self and live your best life. If you don't mind, will you give this video a thumbs up because it makes a big difference. But this video is about how I have gone on my journey so far and also where I'm expecting to get to. Step one, join an acting school. Probably the hardest bit for me. One day when I just woke up and thought, do you know what, I want to be a movie star. I knew I had to join an acting school, but I'd never ever acted in my life. I never even performed at school, you know, in the school plays and stuff, never done it. And I remember turning up on my first date at an acting school. I was very lucky really, there's a new acting school in Manchester and I joined it. I remember getting there on the first day and this guy said Steve by the way up, up there yeah in that room you'll be performing in front of everyone today and I'm like no nah, no I won't be I thought he was joking but yeah I was I was performing at the end of the first day because I've gone from working in an office environment for like 16 years all of a sudden to be to be in a completely different environment completely different but yeah big challenge for me for the first few months I had to force myself to go to acting school I had to force myself through it and I was driving along up to Manchester and in my head I was going what are you doing you're not an actor turn around go back go back and I was like no 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 I went through this misery for about five months but I kept on going because I knew it was important to go and my aim was get better as fast as I could but I also started buying some books and I found them really useful one book in particular I can definitely recommend The Power of the Actor by Ivana Chubbuck. That is really worth reading. Okay, step two, and the step that I wanted to get to ASAP, as soon as I started an acting school, was to get a showreel. And one thing I could understand about the acting school I was at, or any other acting school I've ever been to, how come they didn't offer as a business service showreels? Because that would make sense to me. You know, they could make quite a bit of money there on the side. Anyway, they didn't. And I found out other actors didn't even have a showreel. So I go down to London, a company called Cinematic Showreels, but you could literally do this anywhere in the UK. But I was, I just was desperate to get started. And I got a showreel within the first four or five months and I was terrible. But obviously I was clever enough to know that if you're going to get a showreel done, the company making the showreel is going to make you look as good as possible because you're the product, you're the person buying it. So I knew even if I was terrible, I'd still look okay. I went down to London. One day I'd done three scenes. I'd come back, cost me about 300 or 400 pound, I can't remember. But nevertheless, I had it in the bank. I had my showreel and that's what I wanted. I wanted to start acting school and I wanted to get a showreel and just get off for a fast start. Okay, step three, get an agent. At this point, I got my showreel. I'd only been acting for about five months, genuinely. And I sent my showreel everywhere. I just absolutely blitzed it. I sent about, I don't know, 50 agencies. Just hoping, you only need one. I just need, needed what one agent, that was it. That's that's all I cared about. And guess what? I got one agent. One person responded and took me on. And that's all I needed. Bang. Because I knew if you get an agent, first of all, you're going to potentially get jobs from them. But also, it probably might make it easier to get another agent further into the future because you're just moving from one place to another. So I just looked at it as a business, straight, straight, straightforward like that. Get an agent, got an agent, and then we can move on to step four. Okay, step four. Join a website where you can apply for acting work. My particular journey was joining a website called starnow.com and mandy.com. They were the first two that I signed up with. There are others out there, for example. You know, if you don't want to pay a subscription fee, because these are subscription sites, they're about £100 a year, £150, something like that. But you could go on Facebook groups, for example, and apply for jobs there because there's lots of acting groups there. And all you need at this stage is to apply for work and get jobs. Just get small, low paid jobs. Do you know what, you could even do a couple of student films if you want, just for the experience. At this stage, it's all about experience, experience, experience. You know, you wanna get good at your craft. You wanna get better and better and better because you're not gonna be very good for years, to be honest. I mean, I'm still not very good at acting and I've been doing it now for four years. So, you know, it's gonna take you a long time to get very good, but at this stage, you're not bothered about, you know, the finished product. You'll be the finished product in eight, nine, 10 years time. I would accept low paid work. I wouldn't care about the money. Just park the money, full stop. You, you, your aim is to get work and get, get movies on your CV. So don't give up. And also always have the long-term strategy. So in my opinion, 
take the low paid jobs and you'll probably apply for hundreds of jobs. You'll get one out of every hundred at first, but that's okay. Get used to getting rejected. It's completely fine. Just get the credits on the board, get, the, get, get start racking up your, your movie experience. Every single movie I did, especially at the start, was an amazing experience. And I learned so much from being on the set even just watching the other actors and actually going to acting school. Oh, and the other big one. You'll get jobs on the acting sets. So you'll meet other actors that might be part-time producers or part-time directors. And it's a momentum thing. I've got more movie jobs on the set of movies and applying, definitely. Networking on the movie set is such a good time as well, by the way. You have such a great time and you're working, doing something you love, and then you're getting more work from it. So yeah, take the low paid jobs at first, in my opinion. Step five, book some jobs. Right, so at this point you're in a good position, you're probably six months into your acting career. So right at the start, pretty much. You've got an agent, you've got a showreel, you're still going to acting school, and you've signed up to some acting websites. Think about narrowing your chances to get work. You can apply for jobs, your agent will be working for you in the background, they're working for you, you you're actively pushing yourself, because it will be, at the start, yourself getting more work than an agent in my experience so push for the work push for the work push for the work yeah all you need is small parts just get small parts if you get a big part great that's even better obviously and also on imdb which is by the way like your cv of all your the movies you've done you can just remove movies if movies you do end up being really crap just delete them and yeah okay there might be a record that you did a naff movie but how many people out there that are really successful now did some really naff movies at the start of the career for me it's okay other people might say oh it's a bit damaging on your career the the risk is if you don't push yourself and go for it, you'll end up doing nothing. The more jobs you apply for, eventually you're gonna get some on. Step six, you've got your first movie role. Congratulations. What's next? Rinse and repeat. That's what step six is, rinse and repeat. Just do the same thing over and over and over again. Keep going to acting school, don't give up on acting school. Even if you get a low budget success and all of a sudden you're like rank 1000 on IMDb or whatever, don't think, oh, I've made it. Just keep going to acting school. In my opinion, anyway, you can do what you want, but in my opinion, keep getting better at what you're doing. Keep reading the books, keep applying for work, keep speaking to your agent, seeing if they've got any work for you. You know, you, you can always move agent. You don't have to stay at the same agency. That's up to you though. At this stage, you just keep going and going and going. It's Eventually, you're gonna land on something that will go big. And after a while, do you know what? You'll have a massive long list CV of movies. You'll be doing really well and you'll be partying in Cannes with all the A-listers. Why is it that us humans, right? We'll go out, we'll work in a nine to five job we don't even like, spend our money on cars that depreciate in value or clothes that are practically worthless most of the time, houses that are liabilities, yet we don't invest in our own careers. We'd go and work for someone else we don't want to work for and then buy stuff we don't need that goes down in value. Surely then the answer is to invest in yourself. So the bonus of this video, and I won't go into too much detail, but it's more to make you think, wouldn't it be a better idea? And obviously you need to meet the right people and trust me, they are out there to make your own films. No matter what budget, you could do it off five grand, you could do it off 10 grand, you could do it off 20 grand, you could do it off 50 grand. Yeah, you might have to save up for a little bit, but I bet you'd spend five grand on a car. Why wouldn't you spend five grand on a movie that you're the lead star in? And trust me, these movies, even, even off five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand budgets, they still get in most cases a DVD release, they'll still get sold. I'm not even joking. It doesn't even matter if it's no good. Be the lead star in their own films. You're gonna have to market it or probably realistically you're probably gonna have to sell the movie and you probably have to make movies that someone else wants you to make but that's okay because you're gonna get all your money back that's something as well don't think you're gonna spend 10 grand and it's gone and you're crossing your fingers that if a distributor is, is funding your movie it's gonna break even at least you might make a bit of a profit as well and then put the money into the next film this is based on my experience of meeting people on movie sets by the way and what they do so oh, that is it you loved it didn't you? well if you didn't leave a comment below saying how terrible it was or if you did genuinely find it useful i think for some people out there it will be useful then leave some comments i'll reply to them as soon as i can by all means like and subscribe i'll send some more videos your way and yeah let me know what video you want me to do next